Hello grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lesson. We have subtracting here for lesson two of this unit. Let's jump right into subtracting two numbers. All right, so let's use black today. We have the first two questions on the screen and you have them in your booklet. We like to write them on top of each other and this time I am talking the larger number on top and the smaller number on the bottom. This is in terms of digits and uh, the actual value of the numbers. So the first one, 995 subtract 666. So we set it up like a, uh, an addition question, but we have a subtraction sign and we're going to subtract them from uh, each other. We run into a problem immediately where we cannot subtract six from five. So we're going to borrow. Yes, we're going back to borrowing. We cross this out and this becomes an eight and we borrow. 10 to make this 15. 15 minus 6 we can do. That is 9. 8 is left over in this column. So 8 minus 6 is 2. And 9 minus 6 is 3. So our final answer is 329. So the borrowing happens when the top number is smaller than the bottom number. That is when we borrow. Let's go to the next problem, number two, to the right. We have 802, subtract 400, oh, 809. Oh my goodness. I would say stop me, but I'm in a video, so you can't. But that's 809, looks terrible. Nine minus two is seven. Zero minus zero is zero, that's nice and easy. And eight minus four is four. All right, so the answer is 407. Nice and easy. Let's do another one. Scroll down. 863. Subtract 751. We take the top number and subtract the bottom one. So 3 minus 1 is 2. 6 minus 5 is 1. And 8 minus 7 is 1. All right, that was nice and simple as well. 112 is our answer. Let's go to the last one. 891 subtract 97. All right. 1 minus 7 we immediately cannot do. The top number is smaller than the bottom number. So we take that, we turn it into an 8, and we borrow 10 of it to turn that into 11. 11 minus 7 we can do. That's 4. But we created a problem. We can't do 8 minus 9. The top number is smaller than the, uh, the bottom number, so we're going to borrow again. It becomes 7. We're going to borrow a 1 here, so that becomes 18. 18 minus 9 is 9, and 7 minus 0, because there's nothing under it, is 7. So we get 794 for our answer. If you have any questions, please let me know. But thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you soon.